There was a brother in Florida that filed a federal lawsuit after a Jacksonville homeowner association ordered him to take down his Black Lives Matter sign from in front of his home, while others got to display their own political-based messages. So the River Point Community Association Board sent Antoine Mickle, a brother that's been living in that community for the past 19 years, uh, a letter ordering him to remove his Black Lives Matter flag. Um, now they said the letter said the issue was not the flag, but the flag itself was hanging from the house instead of a flag pole. They said, but the documents in the federal suit show other residents display f hanging flags from their home. Um, the, it had political messages such as the thin blue line and Donald Trump flags and college uh, base uh, sports flags, LGBTQ rights flags, all the way up in 2020 in October. So he said that uh, the brother stated at a press conference that he said he felt lonely and just all by himself and couldn't do anything against the powerful force. He said, HOA has attempted to take my home away from me before. Yes, the HOA in a deed restricted community can take your home away in certain instances. They can harass you. They can do all kinds of things. But if you're dealing with an HOA and you let them know you got attorneys, and you ready to go, you ready to go at any moment's notice if you notice some harassment and drag them behind the court and let them know you're not one to be played with, they won't mess with you. That's usually how that goes. So the brother said he's been threatened by particular neighbors who stand in front of his yard and gawk until he would leave. He said he had harassment for the past 20 years or so from things like he don't have red mulch in his yard when others don't have it also. Um, the brother said he received the letter on October 20th, a few days after putting up his flag. He said, the letter said flags hanging from a house must be seasonal in nature. And his flag violated a nuisance clause that bans noxious and offensive activities. Well, you know, I mean, saying black lives matter. We already know who that's going to offend, you know, the white supremacist. We know that. He said, so the letter, you know, also threatened action against the brother if he didn't take it down within 24 hours. Now the HOA responded saying that unfortunately the homeowner took offense to the letter sent to him that would have been sent to homeowners, not following association guidelines in place for some time. But yeah, but people had Trump flags, people had thin blue line flags, people had uh, LGBTQ flags. So no, you didn't send that to anybody else. You sent it to him. So the suit, you know, claims the HOA attempt to stop the brother from visibly expressing support for black lives matter cons uh, constitutes racial harassment. I agree with that. The brother's attorney said that they want the HOA to implement new policies and receive training. He said, homeowner associations have a lot of power. I said, according to an attorney, David Cronin, he said, they have a lot of power in Jacksonville. They can, as we saw during the housing crisis, take your home away from you. Yeah, because people allow them to have that kind of power. That's what it is. Um, when you're buying a home, you know, you need to look into how much power that particular HOA have. You need to do research of whatever neighborhood you're going to. How's the HOA out there? Are they annoying? Are they just cool? Like, what are they? Because, you know, certain HOAs are cool. They're not going to mess with you unless you got trash in front of your house and are you letting your yard go, you know, not being cut. Then, yeah, they may say something to you. Um, they may say, hey, you need to take care of this within X amount of time or whatever. But uh, most people may be like, well, why do people need a homeowner association? Um, you know, really, the only thing about a homeowner association is that they supposedly supposed to protect your protect your property value. For instance, you know, in some neighborhoods that don't have it, if somebody want to have a bunch of junk cars all in their yard, in their lot or their yard, you know, that's not a good look. Um, if somebody wants to grow, you know, they're not cutting their grass and it's growing almost a freaking three feet high, you know, the, you you don't want that next to you know your uh, place that you're paying all this money to, so. You know, that's what they kind of come in at. You know, they also supposed to uh, help with improvement of the neighborhood, like facilities for the, the residents, like uh, parks, uh, swimming pools, different events for the residents, you know, uh, anything that, that's basically needed for the neighborhood. That's what the fee is supposed to go to. But with that said, nobody should be harassed from, from nobody, HOA or whatever. So I always say, if you have any problem with the HOA, you make sure you get you a good shark of attorney and if they give you problems, you get your lawyer to send a letter to them in response. They, they gonna act a whole lot different with you when you start getting um, your lawyers involved.
But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation, you know, with this brother here. Now, now if any of you, you know, brothers and sisters have problems with the HOA, um, you know, let us know in the comments. And if, you know, how did you handle that? Did you get an attorney to start responding for you to them? Or, you know, you just kind of dealt with it. Let us know. <music>